So President George H.W. Bush died recently, and I started thinking about it. I've got this really strange connection with him. When I was working on my book, Who's Haunting the White House, I contacted every presidential library there was and asked for any references to ghosts in the White House made by the president or anyone in the staff. When I contacted the George H.W. Bush Library, I was told there are two documents related to the president and ghosts, but they're classified. So I filed a Freedom of Information Act, which is something I'd never done before in my research. And then I kind of forgot about it because weeks turned into months. The book actually came out, the first edition of the book. And then a year later, in my mailbox, I, I get this letter that says they chose to uh, unclassify, thanks to me, a document related to President Bush and ghosts in the White House. And then I read it, and it was a, uh, a handwritten note from the president to David McCullough, the author who writes all those great biographies of, uh, you know, historic American figures. And it starts with, Dear David, either the White House is truly haunted, or the noise last night about midnight emanating from the East Room was caused by that sustained applause after your lecture still reverberating. And then it goes on to, to thank him profusely for coming to the White House to give a lecture. At first I thought, I thought you know, I felt kind of bad. This was classified for no military reason or anything like that. It was just a personal letter between two people. And so I've never really talked about it uh, until now. And President Bush was really quite a president. He did a lot of amazing things from helping to end the Cold War. He was a, a, you know, a military hero, a civil servant his entire life, and really exemplifies, whether you agree with him politically or not, really exemplifies uh, just what an amazing patriot and commander-in-chief and politician could be. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm going to put up this letter because I think it, it speaks to his character that he wrote this much to a person who came in to just give a speech at the White House. I won't ever forget it.